Have you ever looked at a huge tree and wondered, where did all that mass come from? All those leaves, branches and sturdy trunks have to come from somewhere, right? If you think about yourself for a moment, all the mass that makes you you comes from the food that you've eaten. So is that the same for plants? It's a great question that many have wrestled with over the years. Consider this concept cartoon which shows children thinking about the same problem. Does the mass of the plant come from the soil, from the water, from the air, or somewhere else? Take a minute, have a guess, pause the video and write down your answer. OK, so the answer, believe it or not, is that plants get their mass totally from the air. Surprised by that? Let's go back a bit and explain. It was the ancient Greeks that first put forward the idea that plants got their mass by absorbing minerals from the soil. Then in the 1630s, a Flemish scientist called Jan Baptiste van Helmont finally put this to the test. He got a pot of soil and very carefully weighed the mass of soil in there. He then weighed a willow tree sapling and planted it in the soil. He took care of the tree for five years, making sure that no soil left or was added to the pot. All he did was water it. At the end of the experiment, he weighed the tree again. He found the tree had increased in mass by 74 kilograms, but the mass of the soil had only decreased by about 60 grams. This was pretty strong evidence that the mass of the tree does not come from the soil. Now Van Helmont's conclusion was the tree had got heavier by drinking water. Now that's not actually correct, but at least it was closer than we got before. Is that shield down a photosynthesis? This is the process by which plants make their food. In photosynthesis, a plant takes carbon dioxide and water and combines it to form a sugar, glucose, plus oxygen. This takes place inside chloroplast, where the chlorophyll, the green pigment, captures the energy from sunlight. If you look at the leaf, the leaf absorbs carbon dioxide through tiny holes called stomata, and water travels up from the roots. The oxygen produced then travels back out of the leaf through those stomata. Now where does that carbon go? Well that stays inside the leaf, locked into the sugar. The oxygen from the water becomes oxygen gas and exits the leaf. Glucose is formed from carbon and oxygen molecules from carbon dioxide plus the hydrogen molecules from the water. Carbon and oxygen are much heavier than hydrogen, so over 90% of the mass of the glucose comes from carbon dioxide. Some of that sugar is used by the tree to provide energy, the rest is stored as starch. The glucose is used to provide a chemical called cellulose, which forms much of the structure of a plant. It's a major component in plant cell walls, for example. Plant stems are mainly made of tubes of cellulose. And so is that tree trunk. So about 95% of a tree's mass comes from carbon dioxide in the air. They literally grow out of thin air, powered by sunlight, sucking up carbon dioxide and eventually turning that into cellulose. So, did that surprise you? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to see more science videos in the future. Thank you very much for your time.